Hello and welcome to Kadoink Studios. I have for you today another semi-final match in the Golden Blow Tournament, this time between Arcanine and Animus. So spotting in the top right of Cloud Kingdom, we have Arcanine, the orange Zerg player, and his opponent is Animus, the purple Zerg player. For those of you who don't know, the other semi-final match is between Angry Probes and Immel, so the winner of that match will play the winner of this match in the finals of the Gold and Below Tournament. The Gold and Below Tournament is a tournament hosted by our own Animus, our purple Zerg player. Uh, four players in the Gold League, Silver League, Bronze League. And so I'm very thankful to get the opportunity to cast this. So yeah, I'm very excited to see this Zerg vs. Zerg. This is game number one. And so it's not too, too important that either player wins, as um, this is a best of three. However, the winner will be feeling very, very good, and we'll get to pick the third map if they lose the second one. So there are some benefits to winning the first game, of course. Um, but it is not the end of their tournament life if they lose it. So anyway, uh, Zerg vs. Zerg, not too much to say right now. Um, both players kind of just droning up. Probably going to see a 15 hatch from one of our players. Um, maybe a spawning pool first. I don't know. There are, there are many different Zerg openings depending on when you get your gas, when or when you get your gas, when you get your pool, when you get your uh, hatchery as they kind of rotate. Looks like a 15 hatch for Arcanine. Oh, actually, no. He's going to be getting his spawning pool and then getting his hatchery afterwards. So not a 15 hatch from him. It looks like Animus is going to be doing the 15 hatch. So we have a 15 hatch versus a pool first sort of build. Um, both very common Zerg builds, both both very strong. We'll have to see which one ends up better in this match. Looks like Arcanine is going to be getting his hatchery at around 16 food. Pretty usual play. Both players being active at scouting around with their overlords, just checking things out, making sure there's no kind of silliness. Actually, very, very similar overlord placement for both our players. So nothing too out of the ordinary. The first big difference is we see Arcanine is getting his extractor. Oh, no. Animus was just a little bit behind. So, yeah, both players kind of getting the same thing. Um, Arcanine will be able to have Zerglings out a lot earlier as the spawning pool finished earlier. Um, but that's about it. His economy will be... A little smidge pitch behind as this hatchery is just a little bit behind but yeah nothing too out of the ordinary it's gonna come down to who makes the biggest change and whether or not it's effective uh, the biggest change in their build uh, what I, is what I mean um, and then the other thing that's gonna be very important if they go the same sort of play is who opted to go just a few more zerglings who has the better micro um, when these two builds are so so similar it could come down to a lot of very small decisions and that's why that's why Zerg vs Zerg is a very interesting matchup in my opinion um, Queen has finished for Arcanine as Animus's Queen has not yet finished Animus getting two Queens at once so Arcanine will have a little bit more larva should be able to pick off this Overlord actually he really should run this Queen down as far as he can ooh the Overlord does go down Supply blocking Animus a little bit, that is rather annoying. And so yeah, it looks like, I don't know, very very similar things. Um, even though Arcanine was able to get the first Larva Inject in, Animus was able to get the first Larva Inject in his natural. So, you know, these things kind of balance, balance each other out um, towards the end. The one biggest difference I see is Arcanine is floating was floating a ton of minerals which he just spent on a lot of stuff he's getting four zerglings five drones as well as um, zergling speed and the animus is keeping his money a little bit lower keeping these queens down here I don't really know why I guess he's going to spread his creep maybe it was a misclick maybe he's defending against something um, but he is going back to spawning larva at this time. Also going to be getting another extractor up. That's another big difference between these two players. Arcanine not getting his extractor. In fact, I suspect that he's just going to be going very zergling heavy. In fact, yes, we do see 10 zerglings on the way. Roach worn for both of our players. Uh, so this will be very interesting as we probably won't see that very famous zergling baneling 
micro as neither player is putting down a Bailing Nest. We do see an Evo Chamber coming out for Animus, so if he is able to hold this attack, he will have a very, very nice upgrade advantage. Arcanine moving in with a lot of Zerglings. Uh-oh. There's not that many Zerglings out on the field for Animus. All the Zerglings going down. He will have to produce as many as he can, which is 18. And now he's moving up into the main. He does see the Roach Warn. The Roach Warn does finish. Now he's going to be trying to pick off these Queens. One of the Queens does go down. The other one looks like it's going to go down as well. Very, very bad for Animus. Animus does not have any Queens, and now the Zerglings are in the base. Um, but Animus' Zerglings did just now pop. Oh, but they do not have Zergling speed, so they're going to be very, very weak. Even though they are, there were more, they will go down a lot quicker because they do not have Zergling speed out. In fact, Zergling speed not even started for him. But he does have some roaches, so he will be able to hold this. But man, not before a lot of damage was done. Six workers were killed. And both queens are dead. He's not even rebuilding his queens at this time. So he really needs to get his queen production back up so that he can be spawning larva. But he was able to hold this, hold on to this. And in the meantime, Arcanine is just soaring ahead. His his economy, his income tab is just looking great. Um, he's producing a ton of things, getting up some spine crawlers, uh, an Evo chamber to kind of wall this off. He's getting his own roach army up. A lot of roaches getting an Evo chamber so he can get those upgrades. Yeah, and also getting a lair, so he could just go, he could go straight to Mutilus if he wanted to, and then catch his opponent completely off guard as his opponent doesn't even have his queens out yet. Uh, but he doesn't have the gas to do this, so I don't suspect he'll be going Mutilisks anytime soon. In the meantime, Arcanine's going to be spreading his own creep, just so he can get that extra bit of vision and speed from his roaches. Uh, and also producing a lot of drones, um, actually producing a lot of zerglings. He's, I think, going to be going in for another huge attack here pretty soon. Uh, he's getting that layer up so they can get that re glial reconstitution. I always said glial reconstruction, which um, I guess I read the recon and then just filled in the blanks. But he is getting that real... I already forgot it. Uh... Wow. I just totally pulled a blank. Sorry guys. Um, Arcanine going to be moving across the map with his Zerglings, just kind of scouting out, making sure there are no secret bases um, going down. Arcanine getting a layer of his own, also getting a Baneling Nest, which has completed. But if we see here, there is indeed an Infestation Pit out for Arcanine. Where is that? There it is, the Infestation Pit. Zerglings moving in, doing some scouting. Ooh, getting a nice round on some drones. Maybe able to pick one off. Yep, picking off one or two. And then... <clears throat> and then running away. So yeah, just kind of poking and prodding at his opponent. Making sure that uh, he's keeping his opponent on his toes. Glue reconstitution. Constitution? Is that right? I feel like reconstruction sounds cooler. I'm really like perturbed by this reconstitution thing. But anyway, I'll get it out of my head, it's not important. A lot of roaches for Arcanine, in fact, if we look at the army tab, it is 44 to 25. Animus needs to build an army, or else he's going to be in a lot of trouble when this push occurs. He only has a few roaches of his own, not that many. Uh, but he will have Banelings speed out, and the Banelings, if they land, could do a lot of damage. However, not so much to roaches, it'd be more effective if his opponent was going a lot of Zerglings, but... This is not the case, and look, Arcanine is going to be moving out at this time. A lot of roaches, a lot of zerglings. Reconstitution has finished for him. Uh, he, does, he doesn't he does have any upgrades as far as his plus one attack or defense, but he has a lot of units. Three spine crawlers going up for Animus. Animus knows this is occurring, and now the big attack is here. The roach is doing a lot of damage, um, getting a nice surround. In fact, Animus is in a lot of trouble. He does not have that many units. He's using his queens. Um, However, two of the spine crawlers do go down very quickly before they're even built. The third one going down as well. Arcanine just doing tons of damage, killing off all of these roaches. Uh, he will be able to pick off the queens as well, and it looks like Animus is not going to be able to hold this. This is so bad. Um, yeah, oh my goodness. Now he's in the natural, just killing all the drones that he can kill. Fourteen roaches trying to pop out at this time for Animus, but... 
Arcanine's getting 15 of his own. He will be able to target down this hatchery, but ooh, here comes the roaches from Animus holding this off as best as he can. Um, but wow, this nice little concave was doing a lot of damage, killing as many of these roaches as they could kill. But it looks like Animus will be able to force that back, but not before these 15 roaches Arcanine built will reinforce and will close off the game. <laughs> Animus's production is null right now, actually just getting six drones and a queen, but yeah, this is going to close the game. A lot of roaches coming in. He should just attack as he can, and yeah, this is going to end it right here, folks. These roaches are going to die very quickly, and Animus can't really afford to build any more roaches as he doesn't have any queens to spawn larva, and there's the GG. Ah, a little frowny face. That's all right, Animus. We do have a game number two. <laughs> And everything will be all right in game number two. So do not worry, my friend. Um, yeah. And so congratulations, Arcanine, for winning. We will see you guys in game number two between Animus and Arcanine here in the semifinals of the Gold and Below Tournament.